Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake. Hey, what's up everyone? I am Leah, and today we are back with The Walking Dead. We're gonna start episode 5. To recap, last episode, not very much happened, honestly. We made it to Savannah, and then we found a house, um, met some new people, explored a little bit more, found a boat, had to go get the a battery and fuel to make the boat work. Met a girl, and then she um, didn't make it. I don't think she's dead, but Ben told the truth. They gave him the choice to, to kill Ben or not. I chose to save him because I was just gonna do it. I feel bad for Ben. Like he does have ill intentions. He fucked up. It cost some lives, but he was only trying to make their lives easier. But the worst part of all. Lee is bit and I'm so scared because he's gonna die and I've developed such an emotional connection to Lee but at this point I wouldn't put it past the developers to kill my main character if he dies I'm gonna cry like dead ass so let's get into it hit the like button hit the subscribe button comment positive or negative feedback it all helps me improve so I'm hop right into it previously on The Walking Dead what if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Baby, you gotta see this. Here, Clem. Want some batteries? I think we should look for your parents. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! Yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Oh, no. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. I don't even know if I can ask for your help. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. She's my family now. She's all I got. Hell. In the end, family's all that matters. I don't want to cause any trouble. If Kenny doesn't want me to go, I'll stay here. I should have made him go. Clementine. But it was his choice. Like I said, like it's up to you. If he feels like it's best to stay, then stay. Watch the boat. <sighs> okay, let's do this. I swear. Lee's gonna die. Vernon, so sad. get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are Where are they going? Right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! No, Lee. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you... Please, don't hurt her! Hurt her? I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, it's that. Who is that? Get her back. How's that feeling? Fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Wasn't a full chomp. No, it wasn't. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets hit. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Why am I the smartest one? When I make decisions, y'all don't. Y'all be having a problem with them. 
But I'm the smartest. Where the hell did they go? I give an idea, and then it's like that's stupid. And then they just make decide what they want to do. Just some surgical supplies. That could be used as a weapon. Looks like a car jack. I would ever imagine this being used on a body. Oh my god, Lee is bit. This is bullshit. Okay, let's go up here. I told you that wasn't gonna work. There you go. Now, rev it up. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. Is it okay behind those doors? Oh boy. Oh boy. about trying to save him at the very this is why I can't fuck time, with Kenny chopping his arm off do we know it works we don't know anything we know there's gonna be a lot of blood there's gonna be nobody's chopping my blood. arm off what if he dies then the rest of us go after Clementine I'm right here nigga hey, don't just don't talk Brady. like I'm not here I'll make that decision Sorry. it's not really our call anymore Shit. If we take off the arm, you don't die of blood loss. Well, maybe you won't die from the bite. No one's taking my arm off. What do you think? No. No. We leave it. Are you sure? Yeah, I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. I get my If I turn, faster, you kill me. You ain't cutting my arm off. But he will have to literally saw it off. That's fucking painful. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. Lee? No. This is what we're doing, and I don't want to. This nigga was really about to chop my arm off. That's that shit I don't like about Kenny. He always making irrational decisions. I'm gonna cuss somebody out. Sounds good. Nice and quiet, everybody. There's some light up there. Good. Gotta get my ass off this ladder. Ah! Be quiet. Just fucking peachy. There was no reason for me to say anything. Just be quiet. Huh. 
<gasps> Lee! Lee! Oh god, are you alive? Get up! This nigga. Don't say nothing, because I feel like he's going to yell it. Come on. This nigga. Come on. Come on. Come on. You ain't no reason to be like, you gonna scream and be like, I'm alive! No. No. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. No help. It's a hospital. That's why there's so many zombies. Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Well, what do we do now? Maybe we can wait for an opening. We could be waiting a long time. Still, Lee's right and that we gotta pick our time and go. Anybody know how far and in what direction the mansion is? We probably ought to start there. It's between us and River Street, so we can stop if we have to. Retrace our steps, maybe. And they get going towards a hotel where Clem's parents were staying. Okay. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. And break. I uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. Look, so it was a bite. We all know. Just have to deal with it. You gotta Maybe let us right. know if you start feeling funny, you know? I know. It's just dizziness, that's all. I'm all good. As good as you can be. Yeah. Good as I can be. I feel like no matter what, now my what? character about to die. So that's why we didn't chop the arm off. Find a little girl Period. Right, there. right, pal? Now, let's just at least let's save Clementine and then he can die. Because that's what I feel like is going to happen. Looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears a life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. What's the footprints? He or she walked away from whatever accident happened. Well, that doesn't really mean Oh, where was painted this? Fell, the ladder fell and they died. And then they jumped. Or something like that. Mm, something around the thing. They, either they jumped. It could have been before zombie or after zombie. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said. And make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. Just need to figure out a way to get there. Talk to Mead. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Huh, yeah. Okay. That could help. With the Bell Tower on this side of the hospital, and the mansion over there... Mm-hmm. Uh, that might be our way off this rooftop. I can make it to that Bell Tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. <laughs> that does not look, um, steady. 
Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. That is not look steady at all. To go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's Poor the worst Lee. that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed. I mean, shit. <laughs> Bro, this doesn't look steady at all. Hurry. Yeah, what she said. Okay, move slow, move slow. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Almost there. Lee, how did you fuck this up? Damn. Holy shit, man! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Try to find another way out of there? Shit, will he be able to jump? <laughs> that was a hatch. But that's the wrong it's way, locked. though. Shit. The exit in here's locked! Coming this way. Tons of them. Jesus. Now get back here. Who's he gonna do? Jump? It's a far ass jump. He ain't gonna make that. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. <sighs> you got, got this. this. Got this, this, motherfucker. He don't got this. I I wouldn't make to do it. Oh my god, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna miss it. He's gonna miss it, and then they're gonna have to catch him. Fuck! Fuck! Oh god! <sighs> oh! Good goddamn leap, pal. Oh! Let's get the hell off that this roof. Heartbeat. <laughs> Let's do it. Lee. Bro, they did not. That's fucked up. <gasps> what are you doing? Don't get mad. The boat's gone. No shit. <laughs> Relax. No shit. Ben, what happened? They were waiting for me in here. Who? Vernon, his whole crew. Was Clementine with them? No. He seemed pissed you guys lost her and, well, they took it. They're gone. Ben, you are worthless. What was he supposed to do? He didn't have a weapon. How's Lee feeling? Don't change the subject. I can't believe you didn't even put up a fight. What was he supposed to do? Get shot? Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked It'll you. be less you people. Just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had Krista's a boat? Krista's right. A boat! Krista's right. And what the fuck was that gonna take us? Once we ran out of fuel, where were we, 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 we gonna be stuck in the middle we'll of the ocean, dumbass? We think our entire plan. Rethink? How about we just think for once? That's what I'm saying we do. Calm down, Kenny. All yeah, you do chill. is have anger issues. Think. 
He's so fucking annoying. We can do this I wish he got a bit. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? I like the countryside idea. There's less prob people there. Those people on the farm was fine. Look, I agree with The only you. problems they I had was the is the safest uh, place to be. Zombie that but wandered. You're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Then the um the Where fucking the bandits. Get off? I'm just saying we should all chill, not just you. Chill? Bandits? Hey, chill. Here's some pills. Vernon, chill! Here's our fucking boat! This isn't my fault. I can't point to one thing that's happened that isn't somehow your fault! Lee should have left you in Crawford. Fuck you, Kenny! Ooh, thank you, Ben. Kenny, stop! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead. You no! tell him again. You know how they died. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents. My stop sister. exactly. Stop acting like you're the you the only one back. hurting. Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse, and I don't know. So give me a fucking break! Exactly. Oh, Ben. Um... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! All that screaming caused the walker's attention, but that's the truth. Kenny was getting on my nerves. He acting like he's the only one having, going through problems. Like, first off... First off... Lee's... Let's, if we go down the line, I, I don't know much about the black girl and the white dude. I'm pretty sure they lost people too. And she's pregnant with the baby that's about to be raised inside of Apocalypse. That's already heart-wrenching itself. The last thoughts Lee had of his family was that he murdered his wife's side nigga. They probably was disappointed in him and upset, upset with him. He literally went to his family shop saw that his parents was most likely killed and then had to kill his brother's zombie and didn't tell none of y'all this he just held it up inside of himself clementine never got to say goodbye to her parents and her parents never got to say goodbye to her i mean they said it over the phone but eh, clementine didn't get to hear it she's hurting just like ben said he didn't get to say goodbye he lost his whole family and they never got to say goodbye. You got the chance to say goodbye to your family. He got way more than the rest of them ever. A chance the rest of them didn't have. And I don't appreciate him want to act like just because he's hurting right now that he has the right to talk crazy to everybody. We all going through shit. It's zombies in the world. You ain't the only one dealing with pain and loss. Like... If he don't fix his attitude quick, I don't care if he lives or dies, honestly. They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Uh, I'm checking the living room. Everyone else I don't look know. for weapons. I was gonna say weapons, but I wasn't sure. What is it? Front doors Front now. Doors. <gasps> Dang. Bro. How the fuck is that? Is it unlocked? Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off. There's gotta be a knife or something in there. There ain't no Hurry. damn knife in this kitchen. Y'all know there ain't no damn knife in this kitchen. What the fuck? There's a knife Take in the kitchen. Arms off. <laughs> What if I missed? Shh. Everybody, we have to hide and then find a way out. Lee's right. 
this place. Uh, this is not secure. Patient, and then we get going. <gasps> Fuck! New plan! Get upstairs! Go! He said I only got three bullets. Got it. I'm out of bullets. I'm standing there waiting. We could have did that. Here, um, I'm not good with these. You dropped it down there. Oh, thanks. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. You're all uh, bullets. Get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. No. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? <laughs> Shit. I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. Awkward. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another, gotta way. Be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm no, he ain't okay. Have to Just. Damn. Get up! Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What did that mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her yet. Yeah, yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? <sighs> Shut That's up. the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop. Stop it. We can't panic. How long you think we have? What? I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know. We should have cut it off. At least then there would have been a chance. Well, you Nigga. did. And it's too late. You don't know that. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey. Look, we could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not going to do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't going to happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? 
We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. What if duck? What if it was you? And it was duck out there. Whoa there. What? Friend. I bet you'd rather stay focused on the problem, not have people turn on you. Exactly. Watch this your fucking mouth. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything. You to not die touching me. We were stupid. You're not touching me. Do you understand that? You know exactly what to do if I turn, and that's enough. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? You might become one of them. You understand that? How can you be fucking calm about that? You ruined that dude's face. <laughs> Shut up, sweetie. Look. He wasn't about to hit me. I wasn't about to hit him with it's it either. To hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30 foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on Alcatraz here. We can't spend the next three months digging through a wall. If the rest is as dilapidated as this, we might not have to. Let's see. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us, which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. <laughs> That's funny. I am. And when it happened? I panicked. But now I feel it inside me. Like the day before you get the flu. It's horrible. Wish you would have taken it off. Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? He would have died from blood loss. Hot, like when you break a bone. But tingly. Like it's asleep. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We figure out who he is. Why he's I want this. all the smoke, we can nigga. Rescue Clem, but she won't be safe if this guy's not gonna stop. So, did your crew get into any shit before you met up with us? Is it possible to have survived and not gotten into some shit? And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. And her family, okay? Somewhere she'll be safe. Don't do this. I want you to hear me. I hear you, but I'm not having this conversation. Krista. We could look after her. As long as she has a family. You hear me? Yeah. Of course. What about him? We gotta support him. He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. He loses shit like that often? Facts, he's a teenager. First. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. Kenny's been horrible to her. He blames Ben for his family's death. It's just more complicated than that. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just fucking hell. This bullshit, I know. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. 
Please. Yeah, don't be lying. More than anybody. We all lost a lot. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. You need to start remembering that. Take it easy on him from here on Exactly. He was just trying to help. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. Of course you didn't. He was the only thing about yourself. Not that he's trying to have a drink right now. Did this guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. If she's anyway, alive. We had to make some tough calls with her dad. We? She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. Water on the bridge, I guess. Water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers. Shit. It's the perfect time to drink. She can't drink. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm through. This bitch drank it. Was she? Is she? Was is she purposely trying to kill the baby? Does she not want it? She knows she's pregnant. It's a woman's intuition. She knows she's pregnant. Everyone, keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well. Oh, shit. <sighs> let's let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Gotta go. Take the gun, though. Yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. I'm sorry, man. Jesus. I'm sorry, kid. She left me. My son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but... It don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it because it's hard. You stick it out and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, Bet. figure out where we're headed. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. Why wow, I always gotta be the first one to go? Oh no. Oh no. 
<gasps> Me and my fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Stay up here. Keep an eye out. Okay, but I can't see much from up here. Just let us know if they start coming down the alley. We'll be back. Because he's screamed. Be careful. Ow! Shh. I'm okay! Shh. I'm okay! Just Shh. get me out of here! Be quiet, be damn. Or they'll be on top of us. Yeah, Being pain and silence. I'm sorry. Just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Oh, boy. <gasps> Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. Ben, he, you are not okay. Get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh, God! He's quiet. We could take our time and save his life. They can be super quiet. They can smell blood. Oh. Fuck! Oh god, don't let them get to me. Oh fuck. Do you have any bullets left? This is only, it's only got one, one left in it. I'm out. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back. She needs you, Lee. Kenny. This is not a discussion. No. Hell no, man. I'm not leaving. You ain't got time for his conversation. Pull him. Yank him. <gasps> Are you really? What the fuck, Kenny? Really? Lee. Lee, it's okay. No. No, kid. No, it's not. They about to die. It's just something I gotta do. You know that. This whole this is taking so long. Go get that girl. Back, you sons of bitches. Yeah. Oh my god. Can I watch oh, this? Damn it, Kenny. God damn it. Oh my god. Oh my god. What happened? There was just too many of them. Ben was really messed up, and I don't know. There's nothing else. Kitty pushed me away. God damn. And I'm still fucking God. bit. I heard a shot. We needed more bullets. You needed a miracle. Not your <laughs> fuck. I can't believe him. You saw them die. Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. He wasn't a bad guy. He had anger issues, but he wasn't like a bad guy.
We should go. Right behind you. And I'm still fucking bit. You want to talk? Kenny was my friend. He could be tough to like, but I agreed with him most of the time. So, we were assholes together, I guess. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. To be grateful for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. No, I'm not too I just saw your friends get killed. I mean, no. Mm -mm. Back in the attic. It's nothing. What's nothing? Let's just keep moving. She's praying. Tell the truth. This doesn't look safe. All right, all right, I'm gonna... Wait, okay. Why is it doing this? Why is it making it super dramatic? I swear, if my foot goes through... That was just up ahead. weird for no reason. mean it like that. I'm shocked. I'm surprised Kenny didn't just sacrifice Ben and left it at that. Like, he sacrificed himself too. I, I don't get that part. Maybe he was just ready to die. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Going first. You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hot. The decision doesn't make itself. He just said you're walking for two. You sure? Yeah. But she nah, she hasn't stated that yet. So the dude the dude didn't think that was weird? That he just said you're walking for two. I would have died. I mean, I would, I would have died a just long time ago, nice honestly. Okay, okay, nice and slow. Okay, we're almost halfway. Almost halfway. Almost, almost there. Almost there. Just a couple. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Don't, don't, don't count the chickens. Don't count the chickens. Okay, okay. See, see. Oh fuck! You fucking jinxed it. Shit. Are you okay? Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. You fucking you jinxed it. I'll, I'll figure, figure it out. out. There's not a ton of options. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means, it means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Get outside of town by the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. Jesus, we'll be there. Bruh. This is a suicide mission. 
Lee got bit one time and now he oh my god Lee no no What are you what are you thinking? Lee 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 Oh my god Oh my god Back up, back up. Lee. Lee. Did we really just fucking do that shit? That's so fucking badass. I'm gonna be even more sad he dies. I could have died right there. I wonder if it would have been a game over and I restarted. Probably so. That was badass. It's too quiet. Listen. Should I open it? Okay. What the fuck? Trying to keep. Oh. I got us adjoining rooms. Who the fuck is that? Hello. Okay. This is Sybil. You look horrible. Who are you? Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Lee's out there. Good. Quiet, please, sweetie. I'm trying to play a safe here. There. Just Fuck it. Cooler than I expected. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me? few weeks back there might have been a station wagon in the forest full of all sorts of food water things you need to survive yeah I'm not some cannibal Lee some killer out in the woods some villain I'm just a dad I coach little league Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For the taking? Do you know what you took from me? I ain't gonna say anything. You have no idea. <sighs> have you ever hurt somebody you care about?
Yes. Of course. Who? My wife. My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I heard her a long time ago. How? Emotionally. In a lot of ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought. And it made my biggest fear come true. She cheated. Got sick one day on the way to class. Canceled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Damn. This is how I know he about to die. They had her tell me his life story and shit. Can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting, even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. You lost him. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I heard her. His, this voice sounds familiar. Like, I've heard this voice actor somewhere. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but... I'm sorry. Look, it's it's survival out here, bro. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. She looked like a monster to you. No. I'm not like you. You look broken. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. Did I? Oh, I did. It's more complicated than that. First of all, you abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. Who? She deserved it. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. That's not the whole story. The whole story? Yes, that's what I said. You only seen things from your side. Clementine, duh, dumbass, use your fucking brain. Clementine's a child. She thinks she can talk to somebody. She was talking to him. It doesn't have to be this way. This way. You can't take care of anyone. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more there's nothing else to do in this world. You did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Cause she's so safe right now. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. You kidnapped her. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But her birthday was six days ago. How would she know that? I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been. How does she know what day it is? They keep in track of what day it is? No. Shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. Let's Let us go. go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. She's not just going to start a new family with you. Hey, honey. I think this is all going to work out. For you. I'm glad, too.
I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> Come on, Clementine, you gotta work on your aim. Ooh, man, he's moving fast. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. I, I, I didn't want to do this to you. Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. Just go away. Die. There we go. That's what I taught you. That's what I taught you. You learn how to aim. Yes. Good job. I'm so proud. I, I, it's okay. It's okay. I, I, you look horrible. I am. Let's get her back to safe before we turn to... Um, yeah, I bet I don't. Let's go. Let's go. We need to get you somewhere safe. Then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. What the fuck was in that bag? We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. How many bullets in that bitch? Afraid. Good job. Guys. You didn't act like it. I know. I am now. It's okay. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here. Um, this was wild. This was crazy. Lee is still a bit, so I'm just preparing myself for his death scene. Yeah, I'm going to burst into tears, but let's just get this little girl back to the couple safe. Because that girl's pregnant. And I don't know if she's going to have that baby or not. But at least she'll be raised by a couple. And that woman, she has that mother intuition. I can tell. So I think she would do a good job raising Clementine. If you made it this far, thank you so much. And we'll be right back with the next one.